just wanted to show you peanut seeds coming up. I have had to do these in the garage because um, the um, the white one is how it comes up. Peanut seed comes up multiple leaves. It's one of those kind of plants. So you can see it's got the whole thing there. And here's one that's folded out. This one's been open for three days. Those were the leaves that came out when it opened. Here's one that's two days old. And you can still see the little peanut. This is the actual peanut. You can see the shape of it that has opened and this has come out. I am going to attempt to plant this one out today. There are two. I'm gonna plant the one. You can see the little peanut bottom there on that one. So I'm gonna plant that one. Here are my cantaloupe and melons. I've been planting them out. Well, it's time to plant out these peanuts. These are the mini black peanuts and there are melons in here too. The pot is full. I'm just dumping it out. Um, to see. Okay. These peanuts want to grow. Uh, I got a lot of them. I planted the whole seed, so that's why you can see three plants, four plants coming out of one seed there. So I'm really excited. These are, I grew these last year, and I'm going to grow them again next, this year. Yes. I grew these melons last year, so this year hopefully I'll have enough time to harvest my melons. We'll see. It's almost August. I thought you might want to see this. I got almost 100% germination from these mini black um, peanuts. So I hope I have enough to get a carpet of peanut plants because peanut plants are really pretty. So I'm just breaking the roots apart here. I do it very gently when they're young like that and um, they, they don't go into much shock. Look at that tap root there. You really want to get that whole tap root. You don't want to break it. And um, just gingerly separating these. They're really fighting for it. Would have lost a lot of them if I couldn't separate them like this. But um, see, I got it. It'll make it. Got enough to deal with the wilderness. The urban wilderness. We got coyote, hawks, owls, rodents of all manner. See, these were really fighting for it. But I'm gonna replant them. I must have a hundred of these. Praise the Lord. Okay, I just wanted to show you. Okay, so I got it planted, and now I'm just going to heal this little bad boy up. And it actually turned out to be three different seeds, so I'm healing up all of them. Sorry, you can't see that one as well. Yeah. There it is. They need some water. I don't know if they'll all make it, but I'm healing them up anyway, just on me. I'll shoot that they can. And the last one over here, this one wasn't going to make it if I hadn't planted it out because it was struggling underneath the others. I'll heal that one up too. Then I'll water them out. <laughs> They're getting a little shade from the celery, but they'll get bigger. Yeah. Oh, the peanuts are hanging in there. Those are the first ones I planted. Those are called jungle peanuts because they don't get that virus or anything like that. But um, I'm shocked. My peanuts are doing very well with everything. In the distance, can you see my first watermelon is starting to take the space? So. 
I've got other watermelons over here, you know, underneath the ladder. You see a few watermelon leaves there, but um, it is too funny. Yeah. Those white flowers are carrot flowers. Let me see. I'm trying to see if any of the peanuts I planted over here are making it. I do see my melons coming up, I think. Yep, I see some peanuts dotting the space. Yep, there's a peanut. So, the peanuts are doing okay. I had to plant them from seed in another container and then move them over. I don't see as many melons as I would like. I'm going to walk over here. See what He's so scared. He, he puff, puffing and puffing. I'll show you. He lives underneath the lemon. Last year, my back wouldn't allow me to pick the, um, to dig up the potatoes. But I got another chance this year because it looks like the potatoes are starting to come up. This is the month of August. And see, I wouldn't have even planted them in August. So now I know if you plant your potatoes, you probably need to plant them in July for Southern California because these came up naturally on their own. And they're coming up the first one. Planted a ton of melons over here. And I only see three melons now, or four melons, okay? I tell you, melon, maybe there's five, but I wanted hundreds of melons. But the peanuts are, the peanuts came out, did really well. I see the little peanuts everywhere. So that's good. At least I got something. You know, I'll, maybe I should plant more peanuts because peanuts seem to be okay. And they seem to be transplanting very well. I see peanuts everywhere. Do you see all the honeybees? I didn't even know I had honeybees, but there are honeybees just going in on this. <laughs> all those little wings everywhere. Got a few melons and turmeric plants growing over here. That's turmeric right there. And those are some little melons that are coming up. So, how about that? I'm trying to see if any of the, um, oh, there's a peanut, I think. Yeah, there's one peanut. I planted a lot of peanut over here, but I didn't water them, as you can clearly see. So, only the strong survive. That's a potato. Yeah. My back didn't allow me to harvest my potatoes, so some potatoes are coming, so uh, maybe my back will be better. So it's a real easy recipe. I put a half a cup of um, yogurt into three eggs, and then I have my chopped up vegetables here. You know, I have some garden tomatoes, and I have one onion, and over here I have my neighbor's bell pepper and my basil. So that's my garden goodies. And I'm gonna make this nice scramble with it. And all you do, just mix it up. So you don't have to do any extra. Whether the vegetables are on the bottom or the top doesn't matter as long as they get some egg on them. having a vegetarian breakfast. I've already heard a few complaints about it, but it's good for you. And there it is. Okay, so now I'm making the sauce for our meal, which is just uh, crushed tomatoes with some cumin and my Cajun seasoning, just to give it a little flavor. And we'll use that over our eggs because you know we're not doing cheese today. So that'll give it a little juiciness and flavor. Okay, so here we have the coconut oil heating. And now I'm putting the vegetables on. Mom's trying to help me get light right. I don't think that light works over here though, Mom. I think this is the light that I get over here. Okay, so there we go. I'm sorry, I said vegetable. It's a vegetable and egg breakfast scramble. And I'm just letting it coat the pan. Cook up nicely in that coconut oil. And then I will flip it and serve.
a few whole wheat biscuits I made. Yeah, they're ugly, but they're homemade. And there's my salsa. And here's my soft scrambled eggs. You can see they created a juice right there, and I'm just letting them get like this side. There it is. Okay, fix your plate. Okay. You gonna take the picture of this? Yeah, go ahead. Fix your plate. Okay. Uh, there you go. Get as much as you want. There you go. You see how it's dry at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't miss him. I thought he was a hummingbird. 